No charges yet in the case of that man believed to be high on drugs when he killed a grandmother and a toddler in a wreck on the 15. Grant Thorne will not be released from jail, even though today's court appearance was canceled. New at 5, 10 News reporter Steve Fiorina is joining us from where the accident happened. And Steve, you just got word this afternoon that another child in, injured in this crash is now improving. And that's great news, Steve. It was a three-car accident here on the South Mount I-15 at Scripps Poway Parkway. A little before 2 in the morning Saturday, the CHP arrested one driver for murder. The Honda carrying the victims was virtually destroyed, struck first by the Cadillac sedan, then a Toyota pickup truck. The large, closely knit Filipino family is mourning two deaths. 64-year-old Lena Nabrida and her two-year-old granddaughter died in that crash. The child's mother, Jasmine Magat, and her five-year-old other daughter were seriously injured. The Cadillac took off. The driver arrested after being towed to a sober living house in Vista. Grant Thorne was jailed on two counts of murder, vehicular manslaughter, felony hit and run, and DUI causing injury. He was to be arraigned, but was not. The investigation is incomplete. Thorne remains in a cell, though, for probation violation. The family of the victims, meanwhile, asked their pastor to speak to reporters at Rady Children's Hospital. It's a great uh, day for us as a family, and um, the five-year-old has improved a lot. It has made a lot of progress. She is up and about, uh, walking, sitting up, and actually eating solid foods. They were in the process of moving to Chula Vista from Temecula when tragedy hit. It's a horrible thing. Many relatives have come to San Diego to lend support from elsewhere in California and overseas. Thorin was involved in an accident just weeks ago when he drove that same Cadillac over a median strip, knocking down a street sign. Funerals are being planned for Monday. The family has also expressed thanks to those who have given words of support as well as donated to a GoFundMe site, which is on our webpage. Live in the Scripps Poway Parkway, Steve Fiorino.